moon and Jupiter here. Let's see if we can get Jupiter here. Interesting. Got it last night. Huh. I'm getting it tonight with the stars in a different order. Oh, it's moons. Say it's its moons. That's at full zoom. Let me bring it back down again here. See if there's anybody out front. Because there's usually four visible. All right, I'm going to try to help uh, people um, get a better idea, too, on the lighting um, settings in your camera. Um, you know, if you usually use the autofocus and have it on um, auto ISO and, uh, you know, pretty much auto everything, um, there's some things you can do to uh, change that and take a lot of that brightness out, take some of that light out. Um, but, you know, I, I one time was accused of... Uh, you know, putting a video out um, of Jupiter and because they didn't see the stars or the moons, you know, they said I was faking it. Um, so, you know, here I'm kind of showing that, uh, you know, these star, these moons, um, I don't know if they're moons, but we're told they're moons, um, are there. And like I said, there's usually like four of them. And here I am, you know, zoomed in full zoom and I you know had the first one there and then you get Jupiter with the two beside it and then there's another one trailing those two okay so I do show it but I want to show how changing the lighting uh, makes a big difference too um, you might lose those moons but you start to resolve and get mu a much yeah, but plus three on the daylight there's that, there's that leader again there it's full zoom I don't really think it made much difference let's see but if you ask me, the more I look at Jupiter, it looks more like a plasma ball or something. More than it does a, a gas planet. <laughs> it's a gas planet, man. Let me turn down my exposure and see if that makes any difference. That's minus two. We get in any bands in there. That's what I want to try to get is the bands. Try another moon. There's also an incandescent and fluorescent light setting that you can play around with if you want. Um, you know, it does 
um, kind of the same thing, you know, it just shows you a little more of the, like, blue spectrum here. Um, and this is in the incandescent. Um, like I said, I was just playing around with it, um, you know, learning how to uh, adjust it to try to get the best I, um, I can out of it. Um, and also, um, instead of typing it in, I'm going to just say, uh, uh, go to your ISO too. Um, set your ISO as low as it'll go. Um, that'll cut a lot of the light. Um, depending on, um, too, sometimes, you know, we got, um, maybe some distortion, atmospheric distortion, um, or, you know, it's behind some thin clouds. Sometimes you got to adjust, uh, um, some things in there too. Um, you know, you might need to turn it up. Uh yeah, not much difference in any of them really. It's pretty cool though to see those two, right? underneath or beside however way you want to look at it okay when you're viewing them on the monitor you might not see much of a difference like you heard me say but when you get it on your computer screen and you look at it um, you do see some differences in it um, here again I'm getting more of the red spectrum of light um, so again uh, you know, I'm just playing around with all these settings, and um, I'm going to try to cut this a little bit shorter and get to the chase and show you more of a, the end result after cutting back more and more of this lighting. Um, I'm going to, I did a few videos as I was making this, so I'm going to see if there's any other stuff that I might say in the video that might help me uh, remember exactly the settings that I was set at. I turn the ISO way down. There we go. Turn some of this down. I'm already down to minus two. All right, that's cool. Uh huh. Turn the ISO down. You don't get the moons, but you get the bands. This is for my friend James, Flat Earth Man. Um, hey, buddy. Um, well, a uh, helpful hint is try to keep your um, adjustments for your turn and swivel of your camera, you know, pretty fairly tight. Um, I know I have a hard time sometimes getting it just right, but when you do, you're able to, you know, get it in a corner and let it, you know, just glide through the screen. And sometimes I'm so anxious, I'm, you know, I'm always trying to adjust the focus a little bit better. Now on the P1000, I adjusted on the uh, front ring. Um, which actually shakes the camera a lot more than that little ring um, on the P900 that you use. The ring around the OK button, you can use that to adjust your focus and you don't shake your camera as much. I think you might have to change it around in the settings um, to get that on there, but that might help you. Um, also, on the P1000, I can adjust the compensation exposure while filming, where with the P900, you can't. So, always make sure you set that down as low as you can. Um, that always is uh, very helpful. Um, but you see, um, you know, when I zoom in on it and I'm not focused, how, um, you know, just adjusting a little bit at a time, I get a little better focus. I get it out of focus. It kind of becomes a blob. That's that's what's happening. That's what happens with light. You know, you you zoom in on it and it blobs up, and then you know as you get it to the best focus you can, that's when you're going to see your finer details. Now I tell you, um, I, I've gotten actually better footage of it, um, 
in some other videos and I'm not sure exactly why so I, I might try to do a comparison or you know also listen to see what I might have had a different setting on it um, but these come out pretty good um, I know you see me doing a lot of shaking around so run don't get discouraged um, you know it, it's not easy to do now when you do start getting good at where to uh, get it at like you see I'm trying to get it in the corner um, but I could also adjust the lighting in the when I'm converting it and actually probably maybe be able to see the stars but I really don't like manipulating um, all the settings in here um, I like to just do them raw um, I think they come out better when I do load them on YouTube when I mess around with that it seems like that's when uh, they screw around with your video a lot more you know degrade it I think they degrade a lot of our videos anyhow now see I got it in good focus and now I'm going to struggle to get it back over here in this corner um, and, and let it settle down and there you go uh, much much better but again like I said I've gotten better than this um, or maybe it was just uh, you know different atmospheric conditions I'm sure that that plays a role in it um, you know and also just trying to get it at the best focus you can um, and and you'll you'll see exactly how that camera works and how the light works on it um, you know the ones that are smaller um, you know we're told they're farther you know billions and trillions of miles away they're probably not they're just probably smaller lights um, in the firmament um, above the firmament in the firmament under the firmament I don't know but they're there um, and we get to adore the beauty of his creation um, so I'm all right here with everybody um, also if you really look closely if they don't degrade the video uh, bad you will see those uh, the moons in this too I even uh, I see them in my video but sometimes I don't see them in the video when I get it loaded all right, I'm going to cut this short. There is more on here, but um, I, it's already went too long. All right, thanks a lot for watching, folks, and I hope this helps people. Um, even with the P900, you got these settings, use them. Um, it, it really will help you. All right, thanks a lot. Bye.